Hello everyone, Pally Tub here, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We find Dungan and his party continuing their honor mode adventure, heading into the swamp that is on the southern side of Act 1. Those of you that are longtime viewers will know that I love this area. It's probably my favorite spot in the act, other than the Underdark. Second runner-up, but a close runner-up. But I'm hoping that we can do enough things here to hopefully get us up to level six. I don't know if that's possible before we head over to Kresh Yelek. There is some very important things that we need to do here for Dungan's power later in the game. So let's get things started. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoy today's yes, video. With the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. That's a lie! Drop the app, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. You there? Please, I don't know what's come over these boys. I just want to go home. The old woman's face creases with false concern. You realize she's lying. About Very insightful, Dungan. Stop this. We we won't ask again. Mm, if you're lying about the girl, what's to say this isn't a disguise? The bard option. That's crazy. Bollocks. Thanks for ruining my fun. Some advice. You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology <laughs> at the ready. I don't have that. Bye bye now. Bye. Bloody hells. She just disappeared. I was kind of wondering if she would drop I've seen the disguise. Like that before. She could shoot fireworks out of her backside for all I care. The hug has Rena. Well, good luck with that. Thank you. We'll need it. <laughs> what the hell's with that? We don't need luck or bloody help. Now come on, with a hag to kill. Yeah, good luck with that, boys. We know a thing or two about hag tricks. And I gotta be honest with you, well, he just vanished too. I don't think they have what it takes to take down a hag. But do we have what it takes to realize something Still is amiss? Runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. Look for anything out of the ordinary. This is an investigation of 20. We're going to take guidance and we do a little help from Jack of all truth. <laughs> what? <laughs> the place has a quiet sense of I love crime. this place. You can't see anything strange. There's nothing weird here. Duncan would have noticed that. Duncan would have noticed if there was something weird. All right, our party is going to continue forward. Now, we're not going to do all of this in one day. Uh, we are going to have to break this up. We don't have very... Um, we've already used two of our short rests. We already used the Bard Run and one of the standard ones. We, we're okay on spell slots, kind of. I can do, like, one fight right now with spell slots, I think, and still be pretty okay. Well, what happens if I talk to a sheep? Anything change? Warbles. You realize it's trying to say ba. It's trying to say ba. Drop your eyes and carefully reach out. We need a 15 for this animal handling check to say hello to a sheep. That's on. <sighs> How is that possible that I got two in a row? Wheezing, the sheep backs away. Well, let's go over here then. Dungan doesn't realize that anything is afoot. Uh, some of these plants are dangerous, and you do need to be careful as you're approaching them. The barbed bushes here leave a pretty nasty debuff. Don't waste us. That lasts quite a while, if memory serves. So I'm going to try to avoid that, if at all possible. If you are not following along with Dungan, and let's just say your druid grove is still standing, there is a pretty interesting side quest over in this direction where you can learn a little bit about Kaga. But for our party, it's going to be a nice dose of XP. I'm going to try to do everything that the swamp has to offer in one video. That's the plan anyway. Uh, we did not get surprised, although I'm really not in range to do too much with this. We can get a Sacred Flame off on one of the Ancient Mud methods, but the damage does not connect. 
Lazelle in kind of a similar boat where all of the enemies are very far away from us. And I'm not even sure I see all of them. I'm gonna turn highlights on for these. Now these methods can be a bit of a dangerous foe depending on how you deal your damage to them. I'm just gonna try to hit these. Uh, it's only a 30% chance to hit. We are kind of out of our effective range. So that's why I wasn't expecting those to land at all, but it's better to still try. Let's bring Astarian up on the left, end his turn, and then Dungan is going to move forward and fire off two shots from his hand crossbows. Both of those do connect and take down the first of the mud methods. Now we see an area of effect that happened as that enemy died. Oh, I didn't realize this could happen. They're summoning in even more mud methods. Hmm. We have one in the middle of our party right now, which legitimately is a bit of a bad thing. The Woodwode moving in from the other side is a formidable melee combatant, but luckily for us, these guys are level four. So we do have we do have a bit of a stat advantage against them. However, that stat advantage isn't gonna matter if they continue to multiply like this. So we're gonna have to come up with a way of slowing down their action economy too. Well, most of the mud mephits have gone about their turn. The ones that are out of range seem to be trying to move closer. We do have a very nice AoE opportunity here. And I am going to cast a level three fireball from Shadowheart over onto the right side. Shadowheart being a cleric in the light domain gains access to this ability where most clerics do not have it. A massive AoE ends up dealing, I think it dealt damage to the Woodwode. I suppose I shouldn't just proclaim that without it being true, but took care of most of the action economy of our enemies, which is exactly what we were trying to do. Rather than moving Lazel forward, I'm just gonna have her continue to shoot at this enemy. We are then going to see Astarian move up the coast towards the other wood of the, the other one of the wood woods and miss both of his swings, unfortunately. And I don't think he wants to eat that either. Dungan is going to try to take down the low health one and he does exactly that. We are in control of the action economy of this fight. That is for sure. Sarian is gonna get swung at, but we are going to try a psionic backlash to deal some damage to the caster as well. Asarian entangled and unable to move, but may not need to move. Goes for a swing with Reckless, but nothing is connecting. Uh, I take that back. We just had a massive, massive, massive hit. Uh, I'm gonna try the bite because I don't think it can miss, but unfortunately I can't move. So we are gonna have to swing with our great weapon. That swing does not connect with our enemy. Shadowheart's gonna move a little bit closer to the mud mepit in the back, but apparently it's not in range. So let's try the sacred flame versus the wood woad. It does not work. We shoot from Shadowheart and she does connect with the enemy, which means Dungan can move forward as far as he can. And then fire off both of his hand crossbow shots at the one remaining enemy. Unfortunately, they both miss. The Mud Method does move closer to Astarian and get him muddy again. Muddy attack rolls against it have advantage while the entity's attack rolls and dexterity. So that's why Starian can't hit anything. He's just covered in mud. Now, because he's a barbarian, he can give himself advantage on swings. So he's not completely helpless, but we do manage to take down the mud mifits and their masters very quickly. If you are looking to dive into Kaga's quest a little bit more, there is a perception check that you have to pass over here. The sparkle hands could be a pretty fun monk weapon. They give you a fire arrow there because flames burn away the twisting binds that may root you in place, which is a little, a little unfun. Uh, as we bring Dungan over, there it is, the wooden crevice with a letter to Kaga inside. Now Kaga's already dead in our game and I won't spoil it in case you are going down that path in yours. Now you know where to look and it is a pretty fun twist. Now my party is pretty much done for the day. Uh, I have one more short rest. I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna bring my party kind of over towards the hag's home. It's not a spoiler, he called her a hag. And we'll head back to camp and call it a night. Go in fully rested, that is the plan.
<laughs> wow, they didn't make it very far at all, did they? Those two, two adventurers we saw it on the road didn't even make it past the sheep before they were killed. Hmm. That does make this a bit more ominous, doesn't it? Oh, I totally forgot about this. Before we go to bed, let me move up this hill and Astarian is going to talk to Gandrell. Ah, stranger. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. An old hunter's trick. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. You're a monster hunter. I'm surprised. I thought all gur were vagrant cutthroats. Is that what they're called, gur? Uh, I, uh, pardon, but who or what is a gur? If I had the question, I might as well ask it. A mystical and dangerous people. We travel the land, never settling in one place. Oh, you're the gypsies. We steal your chickens, curse your crops, seduce your daughters. Your friend here has heard it all, I'm sure. Oh, so you're the gypsies. Oh, I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Alas, I am a simple wanderer. Like the gypsies. A simple wanderer <laughs> and monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. Well, what kind of monster are you hunting, friend? Something terrifying, no doubt. Dragon? Cyclops? Kobold? Nothing so dramatic. I'm hunting for a vampire spawn. His name oh, I know one of those. But I fear he's gone to ground. <laughs> I'll get Dungan, dude. Lands can help me flush him out. If I can afford her blood price. Uh, well, here he is. This is a star. <laughs> what? 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 It isn't possible. You idiot. What have you done? Well, well uh, relax. He's not going to take you anywhere, dude. We're totally fine. There? I'm afraid you're wrong. Astarian! Uh, this guy is level five. Holy shit, I've actually never fought him before. Uh, I may have been a little overzealous with this attack. I mean, we're gonna be fine. We're not gonna die. We're totally, we're totally gonna be fine. Totally gonna be fine. Let's start things off with the Sacred Flame on to the Monster Hunter. The Sacred Flame does not connect, but we're gonna have Shadowheart move up and crowd this guy a little bit with her melee weapon out. Next, Lazelle moves up to the side of the Monster Hunter, and she's gonna try a trip attack with her melee weapon. The trip attack does miss, but there's nothing stopping her from trying again. This time it does connect, and Lazel is going to action surge before cutting the head off of the beast. Well, I guess it's not guaranteed critical hits, is it? She does some pretty good damage. And now on Let's Dungan's go. turn, I'm going to go ahead and use my spell slot to put this guy to sleep. Is that overkill? Yes. Am I going to put it on the girls in my party? Yes, I am. Oh, they all saved. Wow, it didn't even work on a single person. The reason I did that is I wanted Astarian to cut the head off of the vampire hunter. Let's see what this guy does on his turn. He is going to fall back and shoot a fire arrow that critically hits Astarian. Psionic Backlash is going to allow me to deal a few points of damage, but now Astarian is completely rooted in place. It looks like he has saved against the check, and he's going to charge forward against the Vampire Hunter, recklessly attacking at his side. 58% chance to hit, and he does decapitate the Hunter. <laughs> Nice work, dude. I hope it doesn't come back to bite me later. I love that he was like, what? What do you mean? What do you mean, I'm a starian? I wasn't going to let him take you, dude. You're totally fine. Well, on that note, our party is going to head back to camp. And we'll see what happens tonight. Scratch is a quest. Through a ball held firmly in his mouth. Uh, animal handling, encourage him to drop the ball. We don't want to trick him into dropping the ball. We need a 15, we rolled a four. Our rolls have not been good today. Now the real question is, do we use inspiration on this? No, I don't think we do. He's not ready to play just yet. Wait, I could just roll again? Wait, what? I got a natty 20 this time. <laughs> Okay, he's ready to drop the ball now. He just wasn't ready before. 
Sure. He relinquishes the ball. It is well chewed and slick with drool. Thanks, little his buddy. Eyes track the ball avidly. He shuffles on his paws, ready to chase after it. Well, let's make sure we throw the ball right away for him then. Here you go, bud. Go get it, Scratch. I remember in one of our early playthroughs, I was playing as Gale and I had a, a companion. Uh, you know, his familiar that he could summon in. And I named it Scratch because I thought that was a great name for a, for a bird. And then it turns out there's already a Scratch in the game. Tonight, we are going to auto select our supplies. It looks like they're holding up okay. I have a couple more nights worth of food at least. Let's go to sleep. Wait, what is that? Hurry towards the sounds? Yes. I don't know what this is. It's Scratch in my owlbear. Are you guys okay? Were you having a bad dream? Observe the pair for any signs of injury. Nothing. Both animals look fine. Call to them. Hey, Scratch. You okay, bud? Oh no, is the owlbear having bad dreams? Hmm. Observe the pair for any signs of handling again. I'm gonna try animal handling. Hold Scratch's gaze and in incline your head towards the cub. Is everything all right with him? I've never seen this cutscene before. Have we got a 14 on the animal handling check? Scratch's tail wags furiously. These two have become firm friends. Oh, good. I'm going to observe it one more time now that they're standing. Both animals look fine, watching you expectantly. Well, okay. Good boy. I'm glad you guys are all right. What kind of a monster would just be like, no, I'm not going to go check this sound out. <gasps> I think I just got an achievement. Pet Scratch and the Owlbear at the same time. Oh my God. <laughs> well, thank you, boys. I'll see you guys later. Enjoy the rest of your night. Oh, that was so nice. I have sleep anxiety in this game because every time we go to bed, something horrible happens. That was a great change of pace. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. Well, let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into up ahead, shall we? Uh, I am going to start today off by having Shadowheart move towards our party and cast a level two aid. I'm not going to upcast it today. Our spell slots are a little too precious. And we're going to have Dungan move in first. He is the most charismatic person in my party, and so he has the best chance of things going our way as we enter. I'm definitely not going to apologize. Don't you dare think that for a second. I just don't know why I quick save either. It's just old habit. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Are you Let not sitting in your chair? Spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all. Hi. You best have one hells of an apology for me, young man. I don't. My people took orders once, and Dungan's not gonna do that again. But you look so good on your knees. You know, I was gonna give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door, but I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Oh, could we? You're still not God, in your chair. Grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Oh. Hey, Marina, she killed your brothers outside. Keep that hole under your nose shut, or things will get messy. Uh, you know so what that sounds like to me. <laughs> Leverage. 
That does sound what like the bridge. What's going on? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. You just have one of those faces, Marina. So bland and forgettable. So I actually I feel really bad this. about that. I should have told her her now, brother's died. I can tell you're in dire need of help, Petal. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? That's none of your concern, Hag. No, but it is yours. And if I were you, I would be very concerned. I can tell you're almost done cooking. You know, you could turn just like that. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? No. I'll... Uh, can we be mean to her? I know a devil that offered to remove it. Wait, what? A devil? <laughs> Spare me. Blathering windbags in love with the sound of their own voices. I'm the safer bet. Plus, you'll get to keep your soul. Okay, I'll take the chances on my own. Ah, good luck with that. But don't you fret, Petal. I'm sure you'll make a very pretty mind flare. I always thought so too, dude. Why is my screen black? Interesting. Okay. Hey, Marina. Oh, she's gone. What? So, Lazel noticed that there's an illusion behind the fireplace. What happens if I just move there? Combat starts with a hag. Okie dokie, Shadowheart is up first. She is going to cast Sacred Flame onto Auntie Ethel. It did not deal damage, but now we're gonna crowd Auntie Ethel and hopefully, oh, invisibility has been used. Do we think Auntie Ethel has moved? There's a cheeky way you can win this fight if you have one spell called Arcane Lock. I don't have that spell, so we can't do that. But what I can do is attempt to uncover the hag's current position just by throwing some fire back over there again. Yeah, she right there. Uh, with the rest of my turn, I could try a trip attack. High defense. Still gonna try. Burning didn't do too much damage to me. In fact, I'm going to action surge and try tripping attack again. I wanna see what happens if we really put some pressure to Auntie Ethel right here. Only one of those attacks connecting. Uh, we do see a Starion up. He's gonna rage. Now, keep in mind that Auntie Ethel is not the only one in this conflict. We do have some other enemies coming up towards us. We're gonna Tiger's Bloodlust and attempt to bleed out Auntie Ethel. It did connect. We're gonna do it again. Recklessly, it missed this time. Dungan does have a fucking chance of putting her to sleep here, which would be incredible. Do we take that on Dungan or do we just try to deal damage to Auntie Ethel? If I put her to sleep, I'm gonna have to hit someone else, right? There's no way. Oh, <gasps> maybe? No, she's still not in range. She's still not in range. She's still not in range. She, there she's in range. So it would hit, it would hit my two, my two girls again. I think it's worth trying. Uh, Lazel's on fire. So theoretically, oh shit. Burning damage would wake her up. Yeah, I think we have to deal damage here. Never mind. Never mind. Let's just go all out. Unfortunately, I don't think any of this damage matters for later if she gets away. Oh, I wonder what would happen if I force tunnel her back and then she's further away from the door and theoretically won't be able to reach it. Why is it making me move up so far for force tunnel? That seems pretty weird. I'm just gonna shoot. Sorry that took so long for me to just left click. I'm thinking about all my options here as best I can. I'm gonna have Dungan move towards the door. And we'll see what these guys do. So these red caps are deadly. Even though they're level four enemies, they can still get multi-attack because of a bloodlust that they have. Uh, so if these guys get inside and start swinging, they're gonna be able to do quite a lot of damage to my party. And we need to be ready for that. I'm gonna go for a really big cast, Radiance of Dawn, of Dawn with Shadowheart. 
She's going to deal damage to everyone around her. Does she only have one channel divinity charge? It comes back on short rest. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna do the biggest damaging thing we can do for Shadowheart here. It hit Auntie Ethel for 14, which is not bad. It also makes it so all of these enemies here have, whoa, a lot of radiating orbs above them. Six above these targets here, which makes us a lot safer in the grand scheme of things too. Break Illusion has been cast. Auntie Ethel teleports towards Dungan and... Bye-bye. Disappears? Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Almost had enough damage on her before the real fight even started. Well, we are going to send Lazel to guard the door. She's going to swing on to this guy and I might even do a tripping attack, but that's okay. We already did good damage. Let's do a pummel strike. We might be able to just straight up knock him out. Literally one point of damage off from knocking him out. Astarian is going to need to stand in a spot where he can damage both of these guys, which is right about here, and use Tiger's Bloodlust recklessly to make sure it connects. And both of those enemies were hit. He swings again, only connecting with one of them this time, but the damage has been done. He's going to bite the red cap on the other side of Shadow Hearts. Uh, man, I really wish I caught her. I'm gonna have to turn the fireplace off again and then move up a little bit on Dungan. Dungan is going to use his bonus attack to finish off the red cap in the back and then main attack on the red cap closer to him. Uh, that one unfortunately did not connect. Psionic backlash as hold person was cast on Lazel. It did not work because we killed the enemy with the backlash. Now we see as Shadowheart. Sacred Flames, the red cap. Lazel's gonna move forward and take a big old swing as well. Actually, that's a little out of her range, so she's gonna range to attack it. 55% chance to connect. It does for five damage. We fire again and it connects for another five. And then Astarian rips the head off of the weird gnome creature. I do think there are more red caps outside if I am not mistaken. I don't think that matters to us right now. We are going to play a song of short rests. And then continue after our enemy. The main reason we did the short rest song was to give uh, that channel divinity back to Shadowheart, as well as action surge, I suppose, for Lazelle as well. Now, sometimes the hag hangs out in here, but I, th you oh, are yep. as thick as they come. Sweetness. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! I think I'll stay a while. Has that wriggler eaten your brain already? Leave, or you'll end up in tonight's stew. We'll go nicely with Marina. She's already marinating. Yep. Please. Little, little does she know that Mayrina doesn't affect my decision making here in the slightest. A lot of you know this already, but there is a very strong way to gain power in this location, and I plan on doing it. Within the door recoils. It can't let people through. Not again. Not again. No time to chat. I'm here to kill the hag. Stupid door. A scene appears in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Nobody. That's a decade for each. You're mine for 30 more years, Petal. Can anyone tell me in the lore how long la hags live? I mean it for real. Let, let me through. The hag's going to be the least of your problems if you don't open up the door. Stop putting visions in my head. The door twitches, but stays firm. If I kill the hag, you'll be free. That's a persuasion check. Guidance. We rolled an 18, rolls up to a 31. You see the hag. She walks through the door 
its form shimmering. The lightest touch of hope brushes your mind as the presence within retreats. You know what's shitty? We're not... Please. We're not even gonna kill the hag. Hey, Lauren! Shut the fuck up! Hey, that guy was worth 40 XP. Don't worry, he made a deal with the hag. He was as good as dead. Now, this room is a bit different. These guys are wearing masks, so they're kind of being controlled by the hag actively. We have tried to just knock these guys out in the past. Yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I'm going to Misty step up here. Frank Dungan off from the rest of the party. As soon as I think this guy isn't watching anymore. Okay. Now we're going to turn base mode. Dungan's gonna walk up and Dungan's gonna shoot this guy in the top of the head. One target down. Everyone else is surprised. I would be too if Dungan just murdered my friend in a single leap. Uh, we're going to end our turn right there. Yes. Now, here's the fun part. They're all in turn-based mode. My party is not in turn-based mode. If I can find a way of navigating around their vision cones, we can deal quite a lot of damage to these guys. So we're gonna take Starion and we're going to move him along this path. And I'm sure you see where I'm going with this. Uh, in fact, he's in stealth, so he should be able to jump up here. He should be able to get down here. And I'm gonna have him walk right up to our dear good friend right here, the Mask of Vengeance. Now Starion's gonna swing. Come on! Oh my God, she even got really good retaliate damage in there. Starion, you let me down. You let me down. Dungan is, did these come back on short rests? They did. Dungan's going to Misty step forward again and try to help out Astarian with his foe. Decent shot there, but we're gonna end our turn. Uh, now we're gonna start to move Lazel up as we psionic backlash a little bit more damage this way. And we're gonna try to do the same thing with her, just get her in position. I'll let these guys move around a little bit. Ooh, too much, I guess. We have disadvantage on hiding, I think. Curse of Regret has been cast on Astarian. Takes two to five psychic damage every turn, and it is vulnerable to even more psychic damage. Well, well, well. We're gonna try a pushing attack with our ranged weapon onto the Mask of Servitude. It did not knock them off the high ground, but we're gonna do it again. Uh, I might even action surge to do this one more time, just to make sure that this target doesn't deal any damage to Dungan. Now, Dungan is going to fire off damage into the Mask of Vengeance from the high ground, dealing 19. Uh, Lazelle's gonna make her way over to the left a little bit and fire off one more shot on the Mask of Regret, hiding behind the vine. We then see Astarian do a big old swing, bonus action great weapon swing for killing that target, recklessly, mind you, and then he's gonna swing one more time. Uh, make that one more, one more time, and we won the fight. We're immediately going to short rest again. Uh, we can loot these guys, but I don't think they have anything too crazy. The Mask of Servitude does sell for something. I have been aggressively vendoring in between episodes. I am going so above and beyond what I normally do, trying to get money, trying to get food. I am so afraid of running out of supplies. And I'll be honest, maybe that isn't a real fear because like, if we take a second and think about it, realistically, if we go to sleep and we realize we don't have food, all I have to do is teleport to a vendor and then problem solved. But still, I'm playing as if it's the end all be all biggest thing that's going to end my campaign. I am looting food, selling off items aggressively. Uh, everyone's going to need to jump through this waterfall, so I'll get that started. Once they hop through to the other side, there's going to be a lot of things just like this. Poison clouds all the way down this gigantic area. Tons of verticality here, and unfortunately, tons of traps that we have to try and sidestep the whole way down. Now, these things all, every single one of them have a vent 
that is allowing this poison to come up through the ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these masks and I'm going to place those masks on the vent. Uh, let me throw it from my inventory. I'm going to throw it right onto the vent and you will see that that stops the poison from spreading. Then Dungan can shoot these flowers, which should all blow up. Maybe we have to notice their traps first. Watch how you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, my game will crash. Well, I'm glad I saved my game. The problem with your game crashing is that it doesn't get... If you leave an honor mode... Attacker! If you leave an honor mode game, like if you alt F4 the game, it saves. But because our game crashed, it didn't have time to save. Oh, she's dispelling the swamp this time. I bet that would have been a great cutscene to watch. Let's see if this crashes me again. Nope. Good. Wait, I melee attacked at that time. Is it Dungan who crashed us? Nope, seems fine. They are kind of sturdy though. All right, I'm just gonna make my way all the way down. We're gonna get close to a trap area. Try to perceive where the vent is with a couple characters if we need to. Disable these and keep making our way down. It's slow, tedious, but if you take your time, a pretty safe process. Alternatively, to save myself some steps, uh, we can cast slow fall on the entire party and then have the entire party jump right there. And uh, that should save us a little bit of time, hopefully. Uh, I guess everyone's split, so I need to do this manually. That's honestly probably better because they won't leap into this poison. And I just happen to have a scroll for that. I could have gotten that as a spell for some of my characters and I never did and I'm regretting it. I always, no, 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 stop moving, stop moving. I always use slow fall when we have it. And I'm really regretting it. Okay, I have three turns left, four turns left. I don't have long, but everyone is safely down. I'm gonna save again just in case we crash. I'm like super paranoid now. Before we start this fight, Shadowheart is going to cast Bless. This needs to go well. If it doesn't, we're in trouble. That's gonna be Bless on all party members. And then everyone's running in. Everybody runs into the middle. Boom, 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 boom. Everyone's here. Okay, I kind of thought this just started. Uh, the hag is here. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. You come to my home, interfere in my business, and now have the gall to face me in the heart of my lair. You petulant bollocks! I'll rip your spine out your asshole! I'll use your blood to spice my stew! I'll keep you alive until I've sucked the marrow from your bones! And then I'll bring you back and do it all over again! <laughs> Just get out of here! Please! I really enjoy how stew you is such a big part of this hag's so life. Fine. All right, she threw a firebomb on to the cage at the top of the room. That means if we want to save Mayrina, we have to counter the fire that's on Mayrina right now. Shadowheart is going first, and she's going to throw water. Why does that say death? She's going to throw water onto the cage. It's not burning anymore. So that is one crisis averted. We have a new crisis. We don't know which of these is the real hag, and there's a lot of them. Um, they do a lot of damage, too. They do a lot of damage. We have a few solutions on how we could try to find the real hag, a few different ways of doing it. I'm going to start by having a Starion really sprint through a lot of this, and then 
Uh, we're going to donate a few of these Bernie Alchemist fires to his inventory. And I just want to toss a couple of these. Any damage at all is enough to reveal the real hag. So if I can hit two of them, <laughs> hey, that's the real hag. If I can hit two of them, I want to. Uh, so that revealed the real one. That's really, really good. Um, this slime bulb will hit the two decoys as well, which will vanish them. And then we have two more hag decoys still in play. Uh, we are going to bonus action Misty step on Lazel, which is going to bring her forward. She's then going to throw water onto this one. I'm very upset. Ugh. Ugh. She's going to throw water onto that one, and then I was going to do fire onto the other one. The problem I did there was I threw the ingredient at the enemy. What I should have done is just throw it on the ground <laughs> because I'm guaranteed to hit the ground. You know what I mean? I could action surge. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. I'm going to action surge. And if I can get in range of the hag, I would love to. It looks like I can't. I'm going to throw one more alchemist fire behind me to get rid of the last of the illusions. The reason we're doing this, normally illusions can't attack, but these hag ones, it's immune to burning because it's wet. You can't write this. Oh my God, I have played myself. Uh, well, let's try a tripping ranged attack now. If I can. Onto the hag, only a 40% chance to hit. It does, and the hag is prone. So that is Lazel's turn done. That is Shadowheart's turn done, other than maybe a jump into the thick of things. Dungan is going to move up, and he is going to... Man, is that really as far as I can move? I'm going to kill the illusion. End his turn. Astarian's looking great. We'll end his turn. Pretty good turn one. Pretty good turn one. So Mayrina's not burning. Auntie Ethel herself stands back up, which is going to take half of her movement. She casts Vicious Mockery onto Lazel and then throws a firebomb at Astarian. We're in a great spot here. I lost Bless on everyone except for Dungan, and I'm not sure why. Maybe it was in that cutscene. But we're going to start Dungan on his turn first. I think I forgot to short rest, or maybe these come back on long rest, but I can't teleport. And the path is interrupted on the boss, which makes me very, very sad. My highest damage dealer doesn't look like he's gonna be able to get in range. Bro. I do have a shot, okay. So we're going to do a slashing flourish with our ranged attack onto the hag with bless. 50% chance to land these shots. We try for it. 18 damage done on one. We're going to use our offhand attack. 35% chance to land 16 damage done on that attack. Now we are going to fire off a Scorching Ray level three onto the Hag with Shadow Heart. That's a 60% chance to land. We landed a few, I imagine, if that was her response. Okay, Auntie Ethel has made more clones. I didn't see that coming. It wasn't her turn. Uh, Shadow Heart can't do anything except for maybe crowd this one. Lazel could throw Alchemist Fire again. That one's fake, and she can throw Alchemist Fire over here. That one's real. We're right back in the fight. Okay. She's going to spend her turn moving towards our enemy. Astarian is going to spend his turn Moving towards the fake enemies, I guess. 25% uh, chance to hit. What about a fireball? Even worse. Take the swing. Recklessly try it again. He connected. 
and he's just gonna get a little bit closer. Mayrina is still totally a-okay. The real Auntie Ethel is at 65 HP. Okay, she's done it again. She's done it again. I do have all of my attacks though. Uh, let's do a Radiance of Dawn. That will hit if I move over just a little bit. Wait, can I get that right? Ooh, that's close. I'm gonna take the attack of opportunity. Check my range again and just inch forward. Okay, I can Radiance three of the hags. None of them were real, but they've been removed from play. Uh, that leaves us with one, two, three. There's a fourth one somewhere. I think the real hag is invisible. Nah, she's probably just mixed in with this. Okay, so great attack from Shadowheart. I feel really good about that. Let's bonus heal Starion. Just because he's burning, we can help him out a little bit. I don't know why she just did it again. Wait, I have new copies now. Fuck. Okay. Uh, Lazel's going to attempt to burn this one. And then she's going to attempt to burn this one. And that's the last of my alchemist fires on Lazel. So that or that is the real hag. Uh, Starion already did his turn. Dungan still needs to go. I'm gonna go, oh shit, should I go all in on it being real? I could just hit it with a repulsor. Ooh, a shorter range than I thought. All right, we'll bonus attack it. Missed, oh crap. 20, that was the real one, that was the real one. Okay, and that ends all of our turns. Wait, no, a Starion can still attack. I missed that. Oh man. I wish I could leap in. It looks like it's just a little too far. I'll try a ranged attack disadvantage. Still connected. What a shot. Try it one more time. Only 35 HP remaining on the hag. This is doable. This is doable. I was kind of hoping that would be enough. Okay. The hag has now brought Mayrina out of the arena in the middle and has disguised herself as Mayrina. We only have eight HP to work with here, but I don't think our strategy needs to change uh, because I mean, I could, I could theoretically like throw a key, you know, I don't need to throw, oh, I guess a key doesn't explode and you're kind of out of range. Oh, if I get this wrong, she's dead, dude. She's just dead. A uh, spiked bulb does one damage. So I'm gonna throw it up top. Oh, clever clubs. Nice. Gods. Now I'm gonna do an offhand strike. Oh. And I'm not going to touch the hag anymore. That's it. That is it for the hag. What I will do is unend this turn and try to get rid of this illusion. Didn't work. Maybe a Starion can help. 45% chance. Okay. Now, as the turn rolls over to Auntie Ethel, we should get a proposition. Wait, oh, wait just a tick. Killing me is a waste of time. I'll find a way to return. Always have. Always will. But it's unpleasant. So how about we be civilized about this? Mm -hmm. I have something you want. Go on. I knew I liked you, dearie. <laughs> Let me leave with the girl and I'll give you power. You want to be stronger, tougher, smarter? Done. Anything is possible. Just let me keep the girl and her babe. A simple trade. More deception. Take her head. I mean, technically. It's your choice, sweetness. 
Technically, she's not deceiving us. Keep the girl and I'll take... Wait. If you want to live, hand over Mayrina and this power right now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's actually possible. We need to roll a 20. We have good charisma. That's only a six. That means that our inspiration has to work. We need a 20. We rolled a natty 20. No, it wasn't even natty. It rolled up with modifiers. Somehow that's even better. You greedy little bollocks. Fine. Here. I've never seen that. I've never seen that. I'll not soon forget this sweetness. You have my word. But the deal? What about my husband? What happens to him? Deal's off, you dumb cow. And you've had <laughs> the time for it. Not that it matters. I'll find another just as plump and ripe. I can set up shop elsewhere. People always need lotions and potions. Well, best of luck, Auntie. See you later. Bollocks to luck. It's only the deal that counts. Bye-bye, Petal. So, that piece you of... You bastard! You ruined it! Uh... You ruined everything! So, that piece of goop she threw at me allows me to increase my ability score of one stat of my choosing, and we are choosing Auntie's hair for charisma for Dungan. Now... Uh, good luck getting out of here on your own. Go on, walk away, and wave to my husband's rotting corpse on your way out. That's right, he's buried outside, and I was this close to getting him back. Thanks to you, I'll never see him again. Okay. <laughs> good luck with that. You're not going to make me feel bad. I saved your life. Saved it real good. Wait, what does Lazelle want to say? I have a confession. Oh. I was too hasty to judge you. I thought you witless, gutless, unimpressively bland. I am those things. Can I assume a compliment is coming towards Dungan? I don't pay compliments. I only say what is true. You've proven me wrong at every turn. You are efficient, yep. dominant, yep. courageous. Yep. I swear, you would tear the horns off one dragon for plunging into another. You've gained my respect, and more still, my yearning. Oh, 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 when oh! I come near, your odor alone is oh. enough to make my neck sweat and my hair stand on end. Man, Lazelle really liked it when we killed the hag. Are you coming on to me, Lazo? Are you coming on to Dungan right now? Isn't it obvious? I want to taste you. Perhaps tonight. Perhaps later. But I want it all the same. Oh. Do you? Um. Yeah. Dungan's always wanted a hot Githyanki girlfriend. I mean, no, I mean, no, 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 I don't want commitment. I will share my body with you. Yes. Perhaps one night soon, I will come to your bunk and take what is mine. Until that night comes, I shall keep enjoying your scent. Man, as someone who lost their ability to smell because of my sinus disease, Lazelle saying I smell good and that's what does it for her creeps me out for some reason. I guess it shouldn't. People wear cologne and perfume and they smell, you know, they smell good. I'm sure other people like smells. I've never been aggressively smelled, I guess. And it seemed, <laughs> seemed like she was really, really being aggressive about it. Well, we have finished the swamp. All that's left to do is for me to loot all of this stuff. Yes, I do have the scalp for charisma. I'm not planning on using it just yet, but we have it and it's ready to go for the future. There is a Mind Flayer Parasite in the concoctions over here on the side, and I do want to find it. I don't know which one it is. I'm just gonna have to read the description. 
But that pretty much does it for the swap. We did everything I wanted to do, even the bonus stuff, and we did some of it multiple times. That means we are going to be closing out Act 1 by heading towards the crash in the next episode. And when I say there are a lot of upgrades for us heading towards the crash, it's like six or seven items. Our, our party is already strong. We're about to get even stronger. It's going to be ridiculous. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again very, very soon. Don't worry, Marina's going to get her husband home one pull at a time on that coffin all the way down the road. <laughs>